Okay, so this is a in Spider-Man. There was a time when Spider-Man put on a dark suit and he became Dark Spider-Man. So I put on a black hat and uh, I'm working with Black City the She. Okay, so if I'm going to give a, another idea, it's going to be what is the nature of a sorcerer? A sorcerer is one who bends the will to its own purposes. So basically, you are going to have your purpose and you are going to have things fall into place so that your purpose is fulfilled. Now, it gets to the idea of where did you get your purpose from? A very low consciousness person will have very personal things that they want done. Sex, money, and power, basically what uh, this kind of person will want. So their, everything that they do will be about sex, money, and getting power over others. Okay, so, Someone who expands their mind and becomes something else than what they were when they were all about sex, money, and power. There's a book, I can't remember the author, it's called Games People Play. And it's fascinating because if you in that book you can go and use it to analyze everyone that you meet based upon what game they are playing. And I encourage you to take a look at that. You can look it up on the internet. You don't even need to buy the book and you can find the short and sweet pricey of it. But there are games, you know, the sex, money, and power games. There's the religion game, which is basically power over others. Uh, there is the Moloch game. Moloch was a Middle Eastern god that was... People used to sacrifice babies to this god. And so the Moloch game is basically murder and mayhem. This is the game of a professional soldier who is only in the game so that they can win the war, that they don't care, you know, what that really means. The only thing that they're doing is winning the war because that's their job. And whatever happens after that, well, I won the war and now somebody else takes over. Uh, now, the variation on the religion game, Robert Durop is the name of the author. He said that, you know, the religious game might be a televangelist whose game is basically using religion to line his pockets with lots and lots and lots of money. But if you found a real person who wasn't, you know, a religious person, but let's call them a spiritual person, then they're not playing the religious game to be, you know, a priest so that you can do all the things that we hear the priests do because they're priests that we don't approve of. But if you were to follow the great avatars, those are, you know, 
Krishna, Jesus the Christ, Buddha, Zoroaster, Ahura Mazda, you know, the ones, there's other ones, but I don't have their names. And they're all at various levels of consciousness, you know, but if you wanted to get the highest consciousness, these ones are the ones. So if you were going to want to follow in their footsteps, their game is not religions. Their game is what Robert Drop called the master game. So in the master game, you are basically learning to free yourself from being human. And each one of their paths is a different kind of path, how you're going to free yourself from being human. You know, if you're going to be Jesus, you're going to be more human than human. Some people say, you know, God incarnate, and that's basically what an avatar of God is. It's a human who is basically let go of their humanhood so that God can run them. And, you know... I'm not talking about, you know, the god of wine or the god of money. I'm talking about the great god that is beyond description, but is certainly not one that is here to punish you, although that often seems that way. Because you can't understand why the things that are going on in your life are going on in your life. And if you don't self-reflect to figure out why, you know, these things are happening to me. Well, an unexamined life is a worthless life. You've wasted your life because you haven't examined it. You haven't examined all the things that are in your life. And, you know, you're quite likely just going to have a recycle and come back and live another life until you figure out that the purpose of your life is to understand why. Why, 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 why. Some people will say, there is no why, it just is, and then you're going to recycle and you're going to do it again. There is why. There is purpose behind everything that's going on. And God knows I find it incredibly frustrating when I don't know why things happen, especially things that cause me pain. In a previous video, I said pain is here to wake you up. So, is there other purposes for pain? I'm not going to go into these. They're just like variations of it. Pain is here to wake you up to who you really are. You might have heard people say that you are not a human. You are a spirit having a human experience. Why did you come? Some people said, well, something to do. I hear that one quite a lot. And... Uh, part of it is something to do. But there has got to be more to it than just something to do. Um, anyway, I'm not going to go too far into that. I think we... Well, there's still a few more of the points. So, if it's here... If, if the pain is here to wake you up, then it is here to... Uh, gets you to raise your consciousness to higher levels than sex, money, and power. Because those things are basically what we consider animalistic. Maybe it's not fair to animals. But, you know, in general, that's what humans think. Humans think that they are superior to animals. So, uh, I'm, as I said, I don't necessarily agree with this one, but it's what humans tend to believe. So, at least people of my 
generation. Perhaps some people who are vegan, etc., think much more highly of animals and whatsoever. But, you know, for those people, this lecture is not about you and whatever. It is about those ones who are not thinking of animals as being anything but something to be used, to be profited from, and to make you rich so you have more sex, money, and power. These are the ones this lecture is for. So anyway, those ones are considered to be lower frequency, not high consciousness reasons for being on the planet. Mm -hmm. Following your bliss is going and having a big yacht and a Lamborghini and all kinds of toys and all kinds of pretty people to mate with and all kinds of jewelry and trinkets, etc. Well, Robert Durop would say, no, you're following a low game. That's a low game. The high game is the master game, and the master game is becoming more than what you were when you were born here becoming more than what you see around you. In other words, not becoming a copycat of, you know, the ones who are all about sex, money, and power. So, if you want to do the master game, it is not the religious game, but it is a game where not only are you looking to make yourself better, but you are. Your intent is to help others get on the path where they are going to be less animals and more something better. Always improving.